Okay, so let me ask you a question. Do you want to go out, burn up a gas tank of uh, fuel looking for houses and use up an entire Saturday? Or do you, would you rather I do it? Me? Why should I do it? Oh, right. Yeah, because I do it anyway. All right. Well, I'm gone. We're going to head out to these houses and I'm going to let you know the sizes, the different subdivisions, the different communities, and I'm going to show you everything that you need to uh, know to make a decision for you and your family so you can move into Warner Robins and be the happiest you can be. All right, so let's start this video off with uh, Somerset. Somerset was the original subdivision that started in this area and then came in. Next was uh, Grand Reserve. Now there's a couple other subdivisions that are being finished up as we speak that are adjacent to it. So it all makes one big body. But let's take a look and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So this community is in the lower part of Houston County, not Houston County, Houston County. About a 15 minute drive from Robbins Air Force Base and nestled halfway between Highway 75 on the west side and Highway 129 on the east side. So Somerset subdivision actually consists of four different phases. Somerset being the original, then Grand Reserve, Summer Branch, and Hawk's Nest. This community shares two main entrances, one at 127 and Moody Road next to Matt Arthur Elementary and one on the south side at Bear Branch Road. So let's start this tour off with the earliest section which is Somerset. The majority of this neighborhood was built between 2005 and 2007. The floor plans range between 1,500 and 2,000 square feet. Most of them are brick front faces with vinyl uh, on the back three sides and they average between a quarter and a third of an acre. And you'll notice Somerset and Grand Reserve are the only two sections where the houses have their own mailbox. The other two sections have a mailbox station. Now the floor plan in this section of houses is more traditional and doesn't have the open concept that some of the newer houses have which can be helpful if you're having a conversation in one room and trying to watch TV in another. Next, we'll take a look at Grand Reserve. Now, this section was built between 2007 and 2018. This one has a wide variety of floor plans from 1,800 square feet all the way up to 4,000 square feet. Now, these houses are all brick. Most of them are four and five bedrooms and many of them have three car garages instead of just two. Grand Reserve is also on quarter to one third acre lots. In the Grand Reserve section of houses, they did start using a more open floor plan, which is what you see in most models now. And of course, these are larger houses, so they're gonna have more elaborate trim out and a little bit more elaborate decor. The next section, which is a continuation of Grand Reserve, is Hawk's Nest. This section was started in 2018, and the last of the houses in this section are just getting finished up now. Like Grand Reserve, these houses are between 1,900 square feet all the way up to almost uh, 4,000 square feet. They have the quarter to a one-third acre lots and very similar uh, floor plans to Grand Reserve meaning they have the open concept and they are four and five bedroom floor plans with LVP flooring, granite countertops, rounded corners on the walls and uh, wrought iron banister railing. And last but not least, our fourth section, which is Summer Branch. This section is in the northeast corner, closer to the Matt Arthur Elementary entrance, built between 2018 and 2021, so it doesn't have as much mature vegetation. Summer Branch houses stand out a little bit with a mix of brick veneer, stone veneer, and hardy board exteriors. These houses also vary between one and two stories, uh, three, four, and five bedroom models, and run between 29 and 3,500 square feet. 
And like the others, these models have the open floor plan and of course the granite countertops and rounded uh, corner edges. And they also have the large four and five bedrooms and quarter to one third acre lots. Now the benefits of this neighborhood is kind of out of the way. It's on the edge of town, but it's got a few good uh, attractions in the area like Houston Lake is right on the other side of Houston Lake Road and Houston Lake Country Club is right around the corner too. We also have uh, Matt Arthur Elementary, which is right outside the north entrance and Matt Arthur Middle School is just getting finished up. So this area has a lot of uh, attractions to uh, keep you comfortable, including a short drive to grocery stores and a couple of nice churches. Well, I hope you enjoyed our little tour of the Grand Reserve subdivision area and I hope it gave you some good ideas. Now again, if you have any questions or if you want to learn a little bit more about some more of the uh, surrounding area, make sure to contact me. All my contact information is in the description below and I'll talk to you on the next one.